Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Ukraine launches counteroffensive against Russian push to capture Donbas region as NATO speaks about Finland and Sweden joining Ukrainian forces have launched a counteroffensive near the Russian-held town of Izium in eastern Ukraine, a regional governor said, in what could prove a serious setback for Moscow's plans to capture the entire Donbas region. A convoy of 500 to 1,000 cars has made it out of Mariupol in what an aide to the mayor of the city says is the largest group to evacuate Russian forces have focused much of their firepower on the Donbas region in a second phase of their invasion that was announced on April 19, after they failed to reach the capital Kiev from the north in the early weeks of the war. But Ukraine has been retaking territory in its northeast, driving the Russians away from the second largest Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. Keeping up pressure on Izium and Russian supply lines will make it harder for Moscow to encircle battle-hardened Ukrainian troops on the Eastern Front in the Donbas region. Russia's Defense Ministry said its forces hit a series of military sites, including in the Donbas region, killing at least 100 Ukrainian nationalists. Space to play or pause, M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. Reuters could not independently verify the report. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the situation in Donbas region remained very difficult, adding that Russian forces were still trying to salvage some kind of victory there. They are not stopping their efforts, he said. Commenting on the latest developments in eastern Ukraine, regional governor Ole Seingovov said in comments aired on social media, the hottest spot remains the Izium direction. Our armed forces have switched to a counteroffensive there. The enemy is retreating on some fronts and this is the result of the character of our armed forces, he said. Public support behind Ukraine Eurovision win on Saturday, Ukraine's Kalash Orchestra won the popular Eurovision Song Contest in Italy, a sign of how European public sentiment has swung in Kiev's favor since Russian forces launched an all-out assault against the country in February. Ukraine were in fourth place based on jury voting but viewer support catapulted the country into first place. Read more Our courage impresses the world, our music conquers Europe. Next year Ukraine will host the Eurovision Song Contest, Mr Zlinsky said in an online message. Eurovision S winners traditionally get to host the event the following year. In another token of international solidarity, US Republican senators paid an unannounced visit to Kyiv. The Republican delegation discussed further strengthening sanctions on Russia, Mr. Zelensky said Western analysts say Russian President Vladimir Putin failed to anticipate the fierce Ukrainian resistance, and the forceful global response, when he ordered the February 24 invasion. As well as losing large numbers of men and much military equipment, Russia has been hit by economic sanctions. The group of seven leading Western economies pledged in a statement on Saturday to further increase economic and political pressure on Russia, and to supply more weapons to Ukraine. Read more on the Russian invasion of Ukraine, G7 countries pledged to reduce reliance on Russian energy One of the aims of Russia's action in Ukraine was to prevent the former Soviet Republic ever joining NATO. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who spoke to Mr Putin by phone on Friday, said he detected no sign of any change in the Russian leader's thinking on the conflict. Mr. Skolt said Western sanctions on Russia would remain in place until it reached an agreement with Ukraine, adding, our aim is for this invasion to fail. Meeting in Germany, foreign ministers from the G7 group of rich nations backed giving Ukraine more aid and arms. In their statement, the G7 ministers, from the United States, Japan, Germany, Britain, France, Italy and Canada, also pledged to expedite our efforts to reduce and end reliance on Russian energy supplies. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lerov said the West's sanctions amounted to a total hybrid war against Moscow, but Russia would withstand sanctions by forging deeper partnerships with China, India and others. Space to play or pause, M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. The war has prompted Finland to abandon its military neutrality and seek membership of NATO. Read more Sweden is widely expected to follow suit. 
Finnish President Soli Ninisto told Mr Putin his country, which shares a 1,300-kilometer border with Russia, wanted to join NATO to bolster its own security. Mr Putin told Mr Ninisto it would be a mistake for Helsinki to abandon its neutrality, the Kremlin said, adding that the move could harm bilateral relations. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said on Friday it was not possible for his country, a NATO member, to support enlarging the